right? We were having an absolute disaster, ladies and gents, of a day all round. Pretty much since we woke up, it's just been problem after problem. It's now 8.06, and we're uh, gonna attempt to play our first cash session of the day. Let's open some tables. The roll is 34.10, including our cash dollars. So we're just gonna fire up some tables and play some poker. Pick up ace two of opposing suits in the splash pot. Uh, are we in shoving territory? We're, not, we're like ace eight off right here. Ooh, join the limp party. <laughs> like, how do you fold, bro? Come on. Getting like 20x to one. We flopped up pair, could be worse. Or better, depending on our opponent's holdings. We'd like to see anyone betting, it's probably the guy rocking 56 speed hit off a short stack that limped under the gun. Hmm, not sure I'm in love with the prospect of raising. Probably like ace 10 off or something, I'd be looking to just raise for value. Um, check back turn. Allow him to do some stuff. I think he's pretty capped when he checks turn. Such a low SBR. Oh, sorry, you know, an SBR that requires him to bet two streets to get it in. And I think now we can comfortably go for some value versus 7x, 8x. Make a healthy size when he gets called. Wang Zen Yang comes in for the three bet. This is our like fairly crazy tag. Snapping it first to jam. Likes to call. One of the better flops out there. Leads off of the pot. We'll just call and let him do his thing. Wang does his thing, shows us the Queens. Swerve it on the river, even improving. Do the nut flush. Uh, top right, we open. Cold call from the cutoff, cold call from the small blind checks around on the flop. We call a small blind lead on the turn, given the abundance of draws. And he can be betting worse success and stuff for value. And now I think I have a pretty clear check back. And we'll win versus the Ace King that flatted pre and flatted bluffing. Now, Ace King versus a Rager is going to be getting in here. Even for 160, there's a lot of money in the pot. And he's uh, certainly going to have four bet bluffs. Be sick if you're making. Time bank hero fold kings. Guess we'll never know. Bottom right, we open under the gun. We'll get a call from the button and the big blind to both appear to be recreational players. They wouldn't mind my saying. As such, I believe we just start with the biggest bet and look to extract maximum value from this guy's two. Ooh, we got a sweat on our hands, ladies and gents. Two times, certainly, sir. We will lose the first one. And the second. Atrocious turn of events here on table four. Queen two of diamonds. Check racing four, four, eight, two hearts. He's gone mad, the lad.
we improve through a pair, which is very often good here, given turn check back. Uh, Ace King, I think we is distracted elsewhere. Called free, it's mostly just gonna be a four bet. Float flop, improve to the top of the pairs. And Queen two, we are just gonna look to hopefully showdown versus Ace King. That will do very nicely. Should have value bet, should have like blocked river, just for maximum tiltage. Ace King. Looking to get it in. Our opponent elects to call eight nine improves. Certainly a hand he should have from the big blind, whether or not he does is a matter that remains to be determined. And I think we have a pretty easy value jam. Um, he'll have tens. Third pot flop right, yeah, I mean he'll still have tens. He'll have ace king also. And, and the jacks and queens obviously. Primary hands we're looking to get caught by here. No snaps, good. I think aces and tens obviously gonna be snapping. Does make the call with a 10-9 and him having that hand gives us information as to what he's doing with his suit connectors from the big blind, which turns out he is actually playing them correctly in, in three bang. Jax, mixing in some calls, mostly three betting. One over pair. Go for the large bet. Unless turns. We're jamming a lot of low turns, I guess. He's pretty bad. For our hand. Range. Like maybe block. Block turn. But yeah, I think this guy's like a solid rogue, so I don't think block turn check rivers are really viable line. It's certainly block river. Again, I think he's competent enough to turn some hands into a bluff here and puts in a bit of a spot. I guess Jax without a heart, just find the fold. I don't think it's all too relevant, to be honest. It doesn't make up that many combos in the spot. Three or four, right? Gonna block. He'll still have some king, queen, ace, queen as well, for what it's worth it. But uh, primarily just looking to get caught by those like sixes, eights, nines. Maybe the odd five, six suited. And it's eights. Aces. Right as Cubic turns up, gets four bet, 200 big lines deep. Bang on 50. If this isn't a bluff, I don't know what is. Snap 50? Come on, mate. Never aces. Finds the call, 8-2-2. Kind of like that flop. I'm not gonna lie. I put about a 50-50 chance of this going chop with aces. One quarter of the pot is what I'd like to invest. Again, a, a pretty irrelevant card. I mean, unless my guy's four bet calling five bets with sevens and eights pre, then I'd like to think we're still in pretty good shape. And we are gonna be 
I mean, I got in Tags' station. I do a lot of checking here versus rigs. Oh, he's a reg, but a reg that likes to call. I think if it was one of the bluer tags, then we'd be doing a lot of checking. We can comfortably get stacks in right of a one to one SPR. We open Queen 2 on the button, opt for a larger sizing on the flop, 75% or so. And we improve to a flush on the turn. I don't think that's going to see much overbetting. So a regular size once more. Check call, check call from our opponent. Size up ever so slightly to the point where it doesn't look suspicious. Too suspicious. One set of eights makes itself known on table one. Five N aces net. <laughs> no no in five bet snap. Well, for sure we was getting time bank called by queens on the turn. I mean, I know we should just always be checking. Hand's fairly invulnerable in that run out, right? Like, it's dry, it's never texture. As I say, it's not just me saying, oh, this time I'm going to do this, but other times, like, genuinely, I'm checking that, you know, pretty much all the time versus most opponents. Recreationals and regs alike. But, yeah, as I say, People earn that tag by calling perhaps a little more than, at least I think they should. Maybe they're calling the correct amount and my uh, perception of the spot's wrong, but I think that's just those guys. We just want to make sure we're putting our money in with value. Uh, Jack9 and 7-9 both improve, neither of which you should have, but you know, it is GG. So shoulds don't really apply in a lot of spots. You can be called by like Queen Jack off and Queen Nine suited and the like. Overbets are like targeting Queen Ten pretty much is the only hand I can see him having at that point when he like block calls turn. I'll have a hard time folding to a jam, I think, as played. And does have the Queen 9 combo. So, as I say, I think those sorts of hands make up the pocket eights. 37 big blinds effective. Guys playing 61 VPIP over. 54 hands. I think we'll feel pretty comfortable getting this one in. He will have the Ace 10 of opposing suits and we'll be flipping slightly ahead. A little more so after the first three cards have fallen. Even more so, four cards into this hand. And after a full five, the entirety of the pot will be ours. Right, top pair here, big blind versus cut off open. Uh, certainly a board we want to have a fair amount of raising on. Queen 10. Likely mix in, probably mostly check in. Not that any of this shit matters, obviously playing in these stakes. Should just be looking to play hand versus range in a lot of these spots. And given that our opponent is a station, I think electing for the lower frequency, more aggressive strategy of a race, it's going to yield a higher EV. I'm not in love with this. Like every conceivable draw. And we have pretty much the same nut combos, right? We have fewer tens.
well, next to no 10s given the flop check rate. He's pretty aggro, man. I got a station tag on him, but I think it's just like an aggro sort of reg. I mean, 6 7 improves, ace 2 improves. Not the best river, I mean, it certainly could be worse. The block is like Jack Queen and stuff. Not Queens. I'm not sure. And the 3 isn't great. Should only be like ace two of clubs, I guess. Okay, he's just that sort of guy. Pretty good flop, bottom right. Not as large as we'd like it to be at present, but we'll work on fixing that. Not sure if over bets the thing, but we just made it one. Jam, punish me, Sam. Punish me good. He just has so many two pairs. Like relative to his King 10, you know, even accounting for the fact he has all the offsuit combos. So he's got 16 combos of King 10, which obviously we lose to, but he's got plenty of like Jack Queen and Ace 9 and okay, not too many more two pairs, I guess, outside of those. But. A single pair ace x that are non-believers. We'll fold to the jam. It's just never a bluff. Save ourselves the money. Might be greedy. Uh, King Queen, we three bet. C bet. Check. Might check jam as a bluff. Kind of think sexy. Blocking his ace queen and. Might be a little bit excessive, but. Looking to show down at this point, I guess. Let me know your thoughts on turn check jam facing a bet. Is it a thing? 1BB seems awfully generous, gentlemen. How about. 15 BBs. <laughs> that, I believe, is the nuts in a three-bet pot in position, which we're fairly happy about. Um, Come and then we'll go into coolie mode and hope that the ball doesn't tear, which it immediately does. And that's what you get. Okay, checks are reasonable, but also congruent with full houses. Do we check back again? And risk the river double pairing? I mean, We're going for stacks. Stop messing around, George. Changes absolutely nothing. Except the times he has like king nine of hearts, I guess. And we now win a stack where we otherwise wouldn't have. He's got all the houses here, but he's a station. And we got a flush, so. It's out of my hands, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> Look, no hands. Didn't have much of a say in the matter. No snaps, pretty good. Oh, oh, run out. Oh, yeah, I love to see it. King Queen, min three bet, which is terrible. You absolute fish. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I mean, it's a nice hand to play at 40 big blinds deep. You'd way sooner call King Queen King Jack off than you would pocket sixes or ace five suited. You want hands that can flop top pair often, which is generally going to be two high cards. Then being suited is kind of irrelevant because your implied odds on hitting flushes and stuff doesn't matter when you got you know forty big blind stack. 
And not much to do, but cool and cool again. Wow. Jinx that like a good one. Again, we're not folding. <laughs> Run out. Got pretty bad pretty quick. Um, don't even get value from King Jack now. And go for one of these. Maybe we miss value by not just jamming here. He seems to be the having a good time sort. Gets the fold. One for the red line. Uh, man like Chubby Chub. No clubs. I think we want to be doing some raising here. We'll happily get stacked by a sets and two pairs. I quite enjoy it, to be honest. Winning pots coming in at a close second, though, so we won't feel too disheartened. I can't keep losing you. You like that one? Just made it up on the spot. A uh, large-ish bet from our limp caller under the gun. We are 130 big blinds deep with some pretty sexy back doors. Gonna elect to kick this one off with a call. There is one of alleged sexy back doors. Could have been sexier. Probably a, what, solid six? Seven out of 10? Nine of hearts would have been like straight 10. Um, I'm just calling because we've got zero seconds. And I have 10s, not really sure what was happening. Cool, cool. Ace of hearts on the river. Hmm. What do we do? Try and fold out some like Asex of diamonds and stuff like that, maybe. And we just check folded tens to a bit through timing out. The timing out started, so I think maybe one more time out and we'll wrap it up. He calls with the King Seven, a respectable hand to double barrel and check call, bro. Actually, kind of like his plate, I take it all back. Um, this much. Snap calls with a pocket. Moving swiftly on. Uh, I have no clubs. But I do have two overcards. And a gut shot to restraint. And I don't like to fold. Now we've got at least six outs to a flush. Seven outs to a flush to go with our additional three outs to a straight. And then we've got six over cards. Oh, sorry, six cards to an over pair. What else to do but pile money in? Hit our straight, we're laughing. Now we just go, we just shove, right? Straight's pretty good hands. You can have some like 10 jack and stuff. Nah. <laughs> oh, he was snapping it off, guys. Why don't you learn to grow a pair, eh? AJ, three spades. Whoa, 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 sir. Serves me right for betting flop. Again, seems to be on the more passive end of the spectrum. Needless to say, we won't be folding just yet. He immediately files another, buyers, should I say another barrel, two thirds. And again, 
gonna have a tough time calling here. We've got nine outs to a house and a few more to improve to a flush. I'll have all the lower flushes as well in like seven, eight, eight, nine, you know, some 10, eight, 10, nine, 10, seven spades on spade runouts. We'll beat those. Um, got no time. Uh, he just has too many flushes. Button versus. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for us for today. It was a beautiful session, a very short one, a very profitable one. 3,410 was our roll, including the uh, cash dollars. So 3,610 is now the roll. So we'll finish up four stacks in that session. And eh, another six dollars or so in rate back. But uh, we won't expect to see this move too much unless we're going for the leaderboard playing 50. But still, another 50 bucks at the end of the week for nothing. So yeah, short session, played a little over an hour. We'll finish up pretty much exactly four stacks, a little over. But as is always the case, guys, it has been my pleasure. I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Wish you the best of luck on your grinds. But yeah, peace, love, all that good shit. And I'll see you tomorrow.